All right, let's go. <laughs> I have things to say. I have things to say about NaNoWriMo. I do want you to know that I typed up five entire pages of notes over here. It goes to the bottom of page five based on the original statement that NaNoWriMo put out. And then they had the audacity to post something completely new on Friday morning. I was literally gonna film this this afternoon and then they were like, nope, screw you. So I could go into all this, but this is like, it's not even irrelevant exactly, but there's new stuff to chat about. <sighs> Unless you've been living under a rock, which honestly, if there's room under there, please let me know. I'd love to come join you. You have undoubtedly seen the firestorm that NaNoWriMo stepped into earlier this week. And apparently they've just brought extra kindling along with them. If you wanna see the start of all of this with the original statements they put out, if you somehow haven't seen them yet, um, I'm gonna link at least two videos below. There's a bunch of videos here. There's literally, there's so many Reddit threads. There's so much on Twitter. Like you can go looking, the screenshots are still available, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna link below Alyssa in the books. She did a video, I think on Tuesday looking at a whole bunch of different stuff. It's a great video. I'm also gonna link D'Angelo. I have never seen him before um, until this. The video came up recommended for me. Thank you, YouTube algorithm. His video was interesting because as far as I can tell, maybe I'm wrong, let me know. But as far as I can tell, I don't believe he's like part of the writing community. He doesn't, I don't think he's a writer in like, he writes books and stuff like that. And so it was interesting to see his video because he was what I'm considering like an outsider to the writing community. And it was interesting to hear his take as someone who really doesn't have like a vested interest in NaNoWriMo, in writing in general, as far as I can tell. So anyway, his video was great, really good breaking down all of the various pieces of that statement and why it was absolutely wild. As someone who's participated in NaNoWriMo for eight years now, um, I've, you know, done the event, I've purchased the merch, I've donated to the organization, I've created a ton of content here on YouTube related to the challenge and the organization in general. I felt like I needed to say something um, because I am not willing to be a neutral party, which we'll get into that in a second here. But I definitely wanted to be very clear about where I stand in all of this. Long story short though, I am genuinely sad. I'm really disappointed in the direction that they're taking here. NaNoWriMo has been a huge part of my writing journey. It's where I've completed entire manuscripts. I've met amazing people online and connected with them because of this. I've met people in real life, in my region. Um, you know, I have writer, local writer friends and we get together and we do writing and we encourage each other. It's great. And all of that has come about because of NaNoWriMo. So it's extremely disheartening to see them spiraling like this. After this video, I do not intend to post any more NaNoWriMo related content unless they like completely change all this junk they've been saying and there's new leaders in place. Like we'd have to have a mega change for me to want to go back. I am going to keep up the content I already have, like the vlogs from various NaNoWriMo's and stuff like that, because I feel like that's my journey. That's my story. And I don't want NaNoWriMo to take that away. That's not theirs. It belongs to me. So those videos will stay up. I don't know that you want to watch a vlog from like 2022 or something, but <laughs> they're there for like posterity reasons, I guess. The past year has been a doozy in terms of missteps by the organization. There's so much I'm not gonna go into at all. There's a really handy though Google Doc that some person on the internet is continually updating. I'll link that below. It has all of the details of all of the crazy forum stuff that was happening last year, all of the ML debacle that's been going on this year. It's a delight and a half. So definitely check that out if you want like more information not related to all of this AI stuff. So yes, NaNoWriMo released a statement earlier this week or like over the Labor Day weekend. I'm not sure exactly when it went live, but they posted it about a week ago with some really wild statements about using AI for writing. And like I said, there's plenty of videos out there that cover that statement and all the craziness that goes with that. Before we get into this new stuff they've put up. Let's just really quick define some terms here. 
A lot of times we use the term AI to mean generative AI, but there's another type of AI out there, non-generative AI. So let's talk about that real quick just so that we're on the same page. Non-generative AI is stuff like your Microsoft Word spell checker, grammar checker, things like the Google algorithm, um, stuff even like uh, the spam filters on your email address or your email account, like things like that are non-generative. That means a human has input rules into a system, into a computer program, and the computer program uses those rules to apply it to the things happening in everyday life. So the spam filter is, you know, programmed that if these words pop up or if this combination of words pop up, it's probably spam, right? That's non-generative AI. Generative AI is where you give the computer a huge swath of information, not related to any one thing in particular. It's just all of the information you can possibly find on the planet. You put it into the computer and then the program generates new content based on patterns that it identifies in that data that it's been given. It's creating something new that has not previously existed somewhere else. I'll link below to some like general articles about the difference between these two things. Generally speaking, generally speaking here, okay, non-generative AI is like, there's a lot of really good uses for it. Like we said, you can have spell checker and stuff like that. That can be super handy. We also know that spell checker is not always correct or the grammar checkers are not always correct, you still have to have brain power to decide if you're gonna accept the corrections or not, right? We've been using non-generative AI like that for decades now. Most people are not pitching a fit because of grammar check in Google Docs, right? But the generative AI causes a lot of issues. There's a huge number of ethical issues associated with it, one of which is the fact that books have been taken in their whole and essentially uploaded into the AI bot or whatever you wanna call it. And it's using that book's patterns and information to then create its own stuff. The problem there is the authors of those books were not consulted and their material is being used to create new material without their consent and without being compensated in any way. We already have issues with pirating books. We already steal from authors in that manner plenty. Like we don't need something else to steal from authors. So for that reason alone, frankly, I'm like, absolutely not. I'm not gonna touch that with a 10 foot pole. I'm gonna use my incredibly big brain to create my own stories. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So with that all in mind, Let's take a look at these new statements that NaNoWriMo released this morning. Okay, here we go. What is NaNoWriMo's position on artificial intelligence AI? NaNoWriMo neither explicitly supports nor condemns any approach to writing. Let's stop right there. We haven't even gotten through the first full sentence. So plagiarism, are we, we're like not supporting or condemning that? What if somebody tells me their idea for a book in a lot of detail and I'm like, you know what, that's a really good idea. And then I write it myself. Is that cool? There's, okay. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> this is, I'm doing this off the cuff. I didn't want to rewrite all these freaking notes. So you're getting just like unfiltered and hopefully semi-coherent Meredith. So. NaNoWriMo neither explicitly supports nor condemns any approach to writing, including the use of tools that leverage AI. We recognize that harm has been done to the writing and creative communities at the hands of bad actors in the generative AI space, and that the ethical questions and risks posed by some aspects of this technology are real. So they admit there is ethical questions involved with generative AI, and they admit that there are risks to using generative AI. Okay. The fact that AI is a large complex technology category, which encompasses non-generative and generative applied in a range of ways, contributes to our belief that AI is simply too big and too varied to categorically support or condemn. 
even though you just admitted there are ethical questions at play here. So you're like, mm, yeah, there's definitely some weird stuff going on there that we should all be questioning, but we're not gonna, we're just gonna be neutral. They want to be neutral. And this is an issue within the writing community. You can't be neutral on especially if you're an organization like NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo's mission is to provide the structure, community, and encouragement to help people use their voices, achieve creative goals, and build new worlds on and off the page. Great, I, I love that. We fulfill our mission by supporting the humans doing the writing. We fulfill our mission by supporting the humans doing the writing, regardless of how they're doing it, now, obviously, there's a huge amount of choice involved in writing. You can create an outline for a project. You can not create an outline for a project. You can not use punctuation in your first draft if you want. I don't care. Nobody cares. There's a, there's a huge range of things that you're allowed to do. I don't know. That's the wrong word. But please see this related post that speaks to our overall position on non-discrimination with respect to approaches to creativity, rage choices, and personal choice. Okay. We made mistakes in our initial expression of this position. You, you sure did. You sure did, NaNoWriMo. We speak to those mistakes in this letter to our community, and we've simplified the language on this page to reflect our core position. We'll get to this letter in a second. They're trying to be neutral. They're trying to say, guys, do whatever you want. We're not gonna take a stance on, on either side of this issue. The problem is that you've got to take a stance in this case. What kind of weak-willed, mamby-pamby nonsense is this? Stand up for yourself. We want an organization that is going to be on the side of writers. And if some writers are using a program that steals from other writers, how is that supporting writers? You're allowed to take a stance on this kind of thing. Honestly, if they came out and said, like, just use AI in whatever capacity you want, and that's cool, we're fine with it, at least then they're taking a stance. At least then I could kind of respect, like, all right, at least you're sticking to your guns, I guess. Like, that's kind of a bad take. I would not support you, but at least, at least you're, <laughs> at least you're choosing a side. This is a bunch of nonsense. Let's go to the freaking letter. A note to our community about our comments on AI to the NaNoWriMo community. In early August, debates about AI on our social media channels became vitriolic. It was clear that the intimidation and harassment we witnessed were causing harm within our community of writers. Okay, okay. The facts we crafted last week were written to curtail those behaviors. They're talking about the original statement that they posted earlier this week or last week or whenever it was. We wanted to send a clear signal that NaNoWriMo spaces would not be used to bully or delegitimize other writers. Okay, this was consistent with our May 2024 statement, which named a lack of civility in NaNoWriMo spaces as a long-standing concern. That is true. That has been a huge issue, like on the forums and stuff for ages now. <laughs> I will say, like, if you're online in any capacity, on social media, there is there is bullying and there are crazy people posting and commenting crazy things. Like, that's a reality of being on the internet. I'm not saying it's right, but that concern isn't just gonna like go away because you post a statement about it. You know what I mean? Taking a position of neutrality was not an abandonment of writers' legitimate concerns about AI. What? Taking a position of neutrality was not an abandonment of writers' legitimate concerns about AI. They admit right here, there are legitimate concerns about AI. But if you're taking a neutral position and you're not trying to stand up for these legitimate concerns, then you are abandoning the legitimate concerns. That's how it works. What? <laughs> It was an acknowledgement that NaNoWriMo can't maintain a civil, inclusive community if we allow selective intolerance. Let's try being intolerant sometimes. Sometimes we can be intolerant and it's fine. If people don't like that you don't support the use of AI in writing a book, then they can leave. 
they're trying to appease to like both sides of the fence here and they're gonna lose people from both sides of the fence because they're supporting no one. A position of neutrality in this case supports nobody. It only supports themselves maybe, but then they're gonna lose, oh, it's just ridiculous. We absolutely believe that AI must be discussed and that its ethical use must be advocated for. Again, they're saying there is an ethical use to it or ethical way to use it or utilize it. And then that then of course means that there must be a non-ethical way to use it. So do you support non-ethical uses as well? What we don't believe is that NaNoWriMo belongs at the forefront of that conversation. I am so sorry, NaNoWriMo, but you've positioned yourself in that conversation. NaNoWriMo is a huge organization within the writing community at large, the global writing community. Issues that affect the global writing community are going to filter into the NaNoWriMo organization, whether you like it or not. You are a large presence in this group and you can't get away from controversial or ethical issues related to writing. That's not how it works. That debate should continue to thrive within the greater writing community as technologies continue to evolve. Our mission is about providing encouragement to writers and cheering them on as they progress toward their goals. That remains our primary focus. We apologize that our original statement lacked appropriate context and that our mistakes created distress. In the future, we will be more transparent about the issues that we are trying to address with any messaging we provide. Finally, we recognize that some members of our community have other questions. We don't think we can address all these in a single communication. Additional context here is that we are a very small team, including our interim director who's a volunteer. Uh, we want, because because after last year, nobody wanted to stick around. You kind of dig that to yourself. It's fine. We want to take the time to read through your letters with care, attention. Please expect more in the coming weeks. I can't wait. So they're admitting that there are ethical issues, but then they say they think that it's too big to really say anything about. Why don't you break it down? There are articles online that say, hey guys, if you're using this type of non-generative AI, this is fine, like nobody has a problem with this. Here's the uses for it. Here's how it's programmed. Here's why it's not an issue. Here's generative AI and here's how it's programmed and here's how it's used and here's the harm it can cause and blah, 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 blah. Like you could break it down and then you could say, listen, if you're using this kind of thing, great. Have at it, have fun. If you're using this kind of thing, we can't support that. Are you going to get backlash for saying like, don't, we're not supporting this kind of AI usage? Absolutely, because there are people out there who wholeheartedly support it. But then what kind of organization are you? You can't stand up for anything? You're just gonna try to be Miss Neutral over here? What? No. In conclusion, <laughs> I'm sad, I'm pissed, and I'm also just done with NaNoWriMo as a whole. Again, I think if they completely revise this stance or non-stance or sort of half wavy stance, they don't know what they're doing basically, okay? If this can be revised in some manner to make it much more clear about what is appropriate and what is not, and if the leadership can be like replaced completely, like I'm willing to look at them again I feel like it's kind of like a bad restaurant when a bad restaurant gets new management. Like, okay, it really sucked before, but maybe the new management will turn it around. I'll give it a shot. You know, it's like that kind of thing. I believe in the, the mission, the stated mission of NaNoWriMo, like we just read in these little pieces here. I don't know anyone who disagrees with that. It's just that the organization as a whole at the moment is not being run by people who seem to know what they're doing. So I do have a sliver of hope. I'll keep tabs on stuff. But for now, I'm, I'm good, I'm done. Now I know a lot of people do not want to give up the 50K word writing in November. I know some people are willing to use the term NaNoWriMo as a way to refer to like the challenge aspect of that and not necessarily the organization. If you wanna do that, I think you can. You're still, it's still gonna be associated though. So if you don't want any association with this, I would pick a different name, frankly. There is a Reddit thread that goes into like, what can we call it instead, you guys? I'll link that below. You can see if any of the little names that people have thought up 
appeals to you in some manner. There's also other groups that are forming to try to be like, hey guys, we don't need to deal with that anymore. Let's join this group and you know do our own thing. One that looks like it's fairly large and fairly well organized is the Rogue Writers. I'll link them below as well. It's originally the regional group from Rogue Valley, Oregon, and they splintered off and they decided to do their own thing uh, in December of last year after all of the mess of last November. But they're open to like members worldwide. You don't have to live in Rogue Valley, Oregon, which side note, I'm so sorry I have to say this, but Rogue Valley, Oregon, it sounds like the small town in a romance novel. I fled from New York City to go to Rogue Valley, Oregon to start over. Her neighbor is going to be a flannel wearing grump and he's going to be a lumberjack. I already know it. Okay. Anyway, if you know of any other like groups that are forming, I know there's some discords out there that are trying to organize some stuff. Like if you know, or if you're in charge of any of those kind of groups, like definitely let us know in the comments. Uh, Cause that would be a cool thing to get involved with. I would love to know what you think of all this. I know some of this can get heated. I definitely was very calm during this video though. So take that as an example. But regardless, please remember you can definitely have an opinion. We like opinions as long as they are respectfully and kindly conveyed. If I see any kind of comments that are just like nasty and name calling, you're gone. What a day. What a day we've had. Anyway, if you liked this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button. I usually post videos on Friday and then this week has just been like off the rails wild in terms of videos, but we'll be back to the normal schedule next week with a vlog on Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.